Hey everyone, today I've got this Yukon Outfitter survival kit that I'm going to review. And before I get into that, I just want to let everybody know how this kind of got into my hands. Um, the, a friend in the Facebook group had mentioned this. He said, hey, this is really cool. Good deal. Why don't you, you, you might want to share it with the group. So I did. And then another member of the group decided, hey, you know what? You do so much for us. Why don't, if we can get a collection, everybody pitches in, we can get one of these. Um, I said, I appreciate that. It's, it's more of a want than a need, but everybody kind of pitched in and, and, and here it is. Uh, so there was a few people that were really the catalyst of this and you know who you are. I'm not going to say any names, but I do appreciate it. But even, you know, even if this was a $5 thing, I think the, the main thing is the thought. That's what really gets me. It's not the value of this. It's not the price. It's the thought that, that everybody put into it. And I, I can't say how much I, Lisa and I both appreciate that. Um, I, the emails that we get, the positive feedback, the, even the negative feedback that we get helps us grow. Um, all the academy members, everything, all of that stuff really gives us the motivation to do this. And this is one thing that while it is a really cool kit, uh, it's, it's more the thought that really gets me kind of like I've got this pick of destiny. I got a few years back from Lisa, um, probably a buck, but this is one thing that, that I'll keep forever or as long as I can, or if I lose this, I'm going to be, I'm going to be distraught, uh, stuff like that. So with all that, I just want to say one more time, I appreciate everybody doing this. Lisa and I both, I appreciate everybody with the comments, the feedback, the listeners, the, the YouTube viewers, all of that stuff. Everybody, you guys all mean uh, a whole lot and you guys are the reasons why we do this. So with all of that, let's go ahead and get into what this is. Uh, this was, it was on sale and I, it was Woot. I can't remember what the website is. I'll link to it, but it was on sale for a hundred dollars. These on the Yukon Outfitters website go for, I think $230. You can find them on Amazon for 170 or even eBay. You can, you might be able to find that hundred dollar price or 150, but for a hundred dollars, this is a, a fantastic little setup and I'm going to use this and and do a bunch of videos it's it's winter time now so i have to wait till summer but um this seems like a really cool setup so what it is basically is the the alpha backpack from yukon outfitters and this is a pretty large backpack as you can see compared to my maxpedition gear slinger but it's got pouches in front that have different areas uh, so you can keep your supplies separated which is fantastic that one has a few, but not near as many as this. Uh, it's got a bunch of different pockets in there. It's got your pockets up here with the uh, different places to separate everything. And it's even got on top here, turn this around so you can see it. Uh, it's got a felt line pouch to keep your the stuff that you don't want mixed in with everything else. Um, along with that, it's got the Velcro. So I'm going to throw, a, throw an SP patch on there. Uh, it's got on the back here, the back side, it's got the straps, which seem like pretty good quality, uh, Molly compatible. It's got this, uh, strap for the back. It's also a whistle, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, you never know when you might need something like that. Uh, it's padded back here. So for comfort and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to load it out and then kind of fit as what I can in here, test it out with the weight and then decrease that and kind of chronicle what I decided. Because if you were to load this with everything, you probably could put everything you wanted in here, but it'd be pretty heavy. So another thing that's really cool about this is it's got the water bladder inside that is specially made to fit this pack. Uh, you can see in here, it holds three liters of water, which is pretty neat because you're probably not gonna wanna carry a whole lot of water with you, but if you run across water, uh, it might be one of those things you better get it while you can. So uh, pretty neat, pretty cool little pack uh, or big pack, actually. So like I said, I'm going to do some some reviews on this. I'm going to use the crap out of it this summer and see. This usually runs um, like $60, $65. Uh, this right here, they've got the prices on them. And I'll explain what this is in a second. 40 bucks. the hammock. Uh, 70 bucks this doesn't have a price on it but so if you can get this for a hundred even the 150 really good deal uh, let me get rid of this so we can see all this other stuff um, we've got the the hammock and I've done a the Yukon Outfitters hammock Ian bought me one in the past from the UK and I've done a video about this setting it up a pretty cool little hammock um, you can see I had to make my own 
uh, straps for it, but that was pretty easy as well. Uh, and this right here is the, I forget what they, I think it's called a rain fly. And what it is, is just the tarp that goes over the top of the hammock to keep you away from the sun or the rain, anything like that. What I want to do with this is I don't see myself using it a whole lot for that. I might, but I want to see what kind of shelter I, I can use with this, the material, all of that. Uh, if I can make a lean-to shelter and how, how easy or how hard is that going to be to set up. So that's pretty cool too. Um, it's got the a little four inch knife, which is 440 stainless steel. Uh, pretty cool little knife. I don't know if this handle is micarta or what it is, but it it feels like pretty good material. The knife altogether feels pretty cool. I mean, it's not it's not a hundred dollar knife, but it is a pretty cool little knife. Uh, it's got I believe this is a hundred feet of four or 550 paracord. I don't know if it's a hundred or not, but. You can never have enough of this stuff, and this stuff is packed pretty tightly right here. I think once I open it up, I'm not going to be able to get it like this again, but um, pretty cool. It's got this little lantern slash flashlight that you can pull up, turns on like that. Uh, it's got a few different settings, light, dark, or light, darker, strobe, uh, low, high, strobe, I suppose. Uh, and it just takes three AAA batteries. Uh, again, not the greatest flashlight in the world, but a pretty cool little flashlight. Good construction, good quality. One of those flashlights is probably going to hold up. It's not the, the cheap little $5 one. But this is the one that, this is the thing that I want to go through a little bit. And there is a video on Yukon Outfitters that explains this quite a bit more. Um, what's inside this. I'm not going to tear everything out of it. But um, it's got a lot of cool stuff. And this is kind of a first aid kit. But I think what I'm going to do is, is a, it, this is a first aid survival kit. What I'm going to do is make this just a survival kit and throw one of my bug out bag first aid kits in, in, the, in the bag itself down there. But what it's got is got triage bandages. It's got some tape. I mean, it's got some first aid supplies, a tourniquet, uh, gloves. I don't know if those are natural or not. It's got a, a couple survival supplies. It's got this chain that a saw chain which looks a little bit more high quality than some of the cheaper ones you can get I'm gonna be testing this one out too uh, it's got the flashlight whistle or not flashlight whistle and compass that's got the matches inside with the striker uh, it, it also has some cotton in here some thread a sewing kit uh, it's got quite a bit of stuff so what I'm gonna do and then over here, it's got the the first aid supplies. Uh, it's got a striker, which is pretty cool too. Can't ever have too many of those. Some fishing lines, some, a sewing kit. Uh, it's got a, a spoon and a fork. You never know when you're going to need something like that. Uh, it's got, I don't know if this is waterproof paper or just a notepad. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Uh, it's got a poncho some band-aids, um, some guides, other baggies, a pencil. So it's got a lot of a lot of different stuff in here. But what I'm going to do, and I'll probably do a video of this later on too, is kind of detail this this or customize this little kit to fit my needs. But it's got, I mean, right out of the box, it's got a lot of the stuff that you're going to need. So uh, it's also got on the back here. Close this up. Uh, Velcro straps. To, uh, you know, you can put it on your on the outside of your bag. You don't necessarily need to carry it on the inside of your bag. I guess you put it on your belt if you wanted. It's got a lot of different options to where you can keep this. So, uh, and the bag itself seems like pretty good quality too. So, I mean, that's that's it. Again, I appreciate everybody for for kind of chipping in and doing this. This is really cool. Um, unfortunately, it's winter time right now because I'd love to take this out and start testing stuff out. I've done a review on the hammock and I love the hammock. Uh, now Lisa's got one. Uh, the rain, the, the 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 fly, catch fly, I don't know what it's called, but it's the part that goes over the hammock. Pretty cool. I'm going to definitely be using that to do some, uh, to see what kind of shelter I can make other than just the, the little umbrella for your for your tarp. But Pretty cool little setup, and I'd say for a hundred bucks, this is completely worth it. You can get a lot of the stuff that you need, uh, even for 150. I don't know if I would go up to the 230, 
Uh, but if you, if you have the money, it's definitely worth it. And Yukon Outfitters, you can it, all of their stuff is quality stuff too. So uh, it's not the the cheap stuff you know that you'd you'd find in the made in China stuff, the no name brands. But uh, that's it, everyone. I appreciate it. Um, so make sure and subscribe to the channel below. And once I get I'll do I'll be doing a series of videos about all this stuff. So once I get those done, uh, make sure and check those out. But I appreciate it. And until then, take care and prepare.